McKinsey is the most prestigious consulting firm in the world and they're known to make some of the best visuals in the internet. That's why I want to show you how to recreate three of their most popular visuals in Excel. So let's get into it. First up, we have a radial bar chart. This is basically a bar chart, but with curves much like a circle. So over here is the data set that we'll need and we have a few different tabs. You can download this data set for free in the video description. And so the chart that we want to replicate is this one right over here. As you can see, they're all basically bar charts, except that they're curved into a circle. And this visual tells us how technology is changing different sectors. So first up, we want to make some changes to the data set. And before we get into that, let's remove the grid lines here by going to Alt W V G. That's the same as going to the view tab and clicking on grid lines. From here, well, we need to know all of these percentages. So we have that right in there. The other problem is that we need to know that this goes all the way to 100. And so we want to find the difference between the, this percentage and 100. So we can put here something like a helper column and we'll do equals 100 minus the original number. So minus the nine in this case, and we'll simply drag this down. Once we have this data, we can go ahead and start doing the chart. So we'll go control A to select it all, then head over to insert. And under pie charts, this one's actually quite hidden. Most people don't know about it. Head over to more pie charts in the bottom, then head to this one right here that looks a bit like a donut. And we'll go for this one to the side. That's the one that we wanna try to do. So we'll select it and hit on okay. All right, now we have this chart. Let me move it over here to the side. And we want to get rid of the legend as well as the title. So just select it and click on delete. Same thing with the bottom, select and click on delete. From here, there's a few different things. Firstly, this whole size seems a lot smaller than this one right over here. So to change that, we can simply select on any, right click, format data series. And from here, the donut whole size, let's switch this to something like a 25%. Now that's looking a bit better. For all of these orange lines, we actually wanna remove the fill just like they have done over here. So we can do that by first just selecting the first one. Make sure you don't select the full circle, just the orange side. Head over to the fill here, click on fill and go for no fill. Same thing goes with the next one and so forth. So let me fast forward that. Awesome, now the visual is starting to take shape. Let's go ahead and remove the border there as well while we're at it. So on border, we'll go for no line. And now we wanna change the colors to match these colors of the McKinsey brand. Now for this, if we wanna get the exact same colors, the best way is to use the eyedropper tool in PowerPoint. So let's take a look at this trick. I'm going to first select the image that we have right here. So control C, then head over to PowerPoint and just paste it in there with control V. What I wanna do here is just insert any type of shape. So I'm gonna go to insert shape and just select a rectangle kind of like that one there. Now I wanna go ahead and under shape fill, click on this eyedropper tool. This is going to allow me to select a specific type of color like this one right here. Now I have the exact same color as that McKinsey visual. Now to duplicate this, we can just hit control shift and drag down because we want to do the same thing but for the dark blue one so shape fill again i dropper and we'll select this dark blue this time now let's select both by hitting the control key we have both selected control c to copy and let's paste them into our excel file let me just resize them a bit and bring them over here so now we can reference these for this first one we just select it and under fill here in the home we can go ahead and go to more colors and find out exactly what the hex code is. So we can just copy that hex code with control C, hit on okay. And now let's say for this top bar, we wanna put that same color. So we're gonna go to the fill and we should actually find it under recent colors. If not, we can always go to more colors under custom and go ahead and add it in there with control V and hit on okay. Now, let me fast forward how I do the rest. Great, so now we have the colors, so we can remove these two shapes from there. Let's go ahead and resize this a bit by making it a bit smaller. 
Now we need to work on all of the different um, labels over here. Now, I think the best way to do this is actually by going to insert a text box. So we can just go over to insert, then head over to shapes, and we'll select a text box from here. Now let's go ahead and add the label 71 in there. So I'm just gonna make that text box. Now you could manually put 71, but actually a better way to keep it dynamic is going to the, cert, to the function bar, the formula bar up here and going to equals, and then just linking that 71 and hitting enter. This way, if this changes to a 70, you can see that that updates dynamically. So let's go back and put it to a 71. We also wanna remove the, the border here. So no line and let's also go for no fill. Now that's looking slightly more like it. Now that you have the idea of how to go about this, let me fast forward how I do all the other ones. Great, now we have the number labels and they're looking quite good. And for all of these titles over here, the idea is the same. So we'll simply add a text box by heading to insert again, shapes, text box. And we'll simply stretch it out kind of like so. And we'll link this one as well. So equals to the financial services and hit enter. Let me fast forward how I do all of these. Awesome. And just like that, we've recreated the first McKinsey visual. Next up in number two, we have a type of bar chart that I actually don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments if you guys know the name. So over here is the data set and the chart that we're looking at is this one over here, where as you can see, we have some of the columns inside of the other ones. In this case, we have it for M&A deals, kind of trying to see that trajectory where we've got the mergers or acquisitions in light blue and we have the divestitures inside of them in black. So let's try to replicate this visual. The first part, we're simply going to select from quarter on, so not the years. So control shift down, control shift right to select that whole area. We'll go to insert and there's no chart quite like this one by default in Excel. So we'll actually go inside of the columns and just select a regular 2D column. From here, we're gonna make a few tweaks and get a bit creative with it. So let's first get rid of this uh, legend and this title over here. Then we can get started working on the actual chart. So the first part, we wanna select these blue columns and put them inside of the orange ones. So we can just right click on them and click on format data series. From here, we want to put these in the secondary axis. Now you can see one's inside of the other. That said, one very important part that we don't want to miss here is that they have different axes, so different scales. So this 31, to make it comparable, we want to put it on the same scale just by heading over here under axis options. And for the maximum, let's put a 70 in there. Now it's looking exactly the same as we would want it. Now let's go back and click on the blue one. And for the gap width, this is what we wanna reduce to maybe around 200, hit enter there. And for the orange one, we wanna make it a lot thicker as you can see by this image here. So we wanna change that gap width to around 50 and hit enter. Now it's looking a lot more like it. We can get rid of these grid lines to the side just on one side at least, so only on this side. But actually, I just noticed it goes up to 60. So let's change that by right-clicking, format axis, and putting that maximum at 60 on both sides. So this side as well, we'll put it at a 60. Now that's looking a lot better. And now we can work on all of the fill colors. So this first one that we've selected, which is the orange, should be in that uh, blue that we actually found earlier from PowerPoint. Go ahead and click on that. And then this should be in black. So that's fairly straightforward as just a black color. We can get rid of these grid lines to one side and hitting the lead there. Now for the bottom, you might notice that they actually have it bucketed into different years with a line in there as well. Now to do this, there's actually a few different ways. What I would recommend is just by using a shape. So first, let's get rid of this border. So right click, uh, form a chart area, and we'll go to no border line, close that. And now we can go over to insert 
And what we're gonna insert is a shape that's going to be essentially a, a bracket, kind of like this one right over here. That left bracket does it for us. Now, it's obviously not supposed to be um, going down, but rather it's supposed to be horizontal. So we can just press the shift key and now it's gonna rotate accordingly. So it's ready for this first area. And now for the actual year down below, we can just create a text box. So we'll go to insert under shapes. We'll go for a text box like this one and just select it over here. This is gonna be the 2018 one, let's say. And now we need to stretch it out a bit more. Then for this line, we wanna change the color from a dark blue to something like a gray. So we'll go under shape outline and select a gray color. Now that's looking somewhat more similar. Let me fast forward how I do it for all of these and change the text boxes. Awesome, that's the second visual done. And as you can see, it's looking pretty much the same. While we're making these charts in Excel, in consulting, finance, and many other business oriented industries, you'll also be expected to spend hundreds of hours in PowerPoint. To prepare you for that, we've built a PowerPoint for business and finance course. And what we teach is industry focused. So aside from the typical lessons on shortcuts, formatting and charts, we have case studies that replicate the type of work you might be assigned in your day to day, ranging from a consulting style presentation on McDonald's as a business case study to a stock pitch deck on Apple as a finance case study. Now, if you want the ultimate productivity pack, we have a bundle for our Excel course and our PowerPoint course to get you job ready for almost any role in finance or consulting. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. Finally, in our third visual, we have a stacked bar chart, which is probably their most popular chart. And over here is the table that we've got. And to the side, we have the visual. As you can see, this one showcases how women of color are losing ground to white women and men as they move up the corporate hierarchy. So let's first select the data set with control A and insert the relevant chart by going to insert. And under charts here, we're gonna go for a stacked bar chart. So this one right here, the stacked column will work fine for us. Let me just put it over to the side. And you might notice from the start that it does look a bit odd, even if we delete the title and the legend. The reason for that is that it's actually in reverse order. It seems like here it goes up, this black part, Whilst here, it seems to be actually increasing from the wrong side. So we actually want to select this area to the side, go to right click, format axis, and we want to try to reverse the order. So if we look all the way to the bottom under values in reverse order, just click on that. And now you can see it's looking much better. We can get rid of this um, title area over here. Now that's looking more like it. For this range, let's go ahead and just change this to 100. So we can click on it and to the side, we can go to axis options and put a maximum as a 100 flat. As you can see there, that's looking better. Let's get rid of the side area. So just delete and same thing with these grid lines, we can delete them as well. Awesome. So that's the first part of it done. Now we want to work on decreasing the column width here. So we'll select them, right click, format data series and from here we want to go to the gap width there and decrease it to maybe something like a 50 and hit enter we also want to add the data labels so we can just right click on them and add data labels these look fairly good as the default so we want to do the same thing for all the other ones let me fast forward that for the fill colors we're also going to change them and again, you can use that PowerPoint technique that I showed you earlier with the eyedropper tool. So let's select this one on the bottom and I'm gonna fast forward them. Awesome. Now this is starting to look really good, but you might've noticed that we have this bar to the side and it's actually empty around this area for the 100. And then it goes, goes ahead and expands again. Now there's probably a few ways to do this, but my recommendation would just be to go to insert and we'll simply select a shape that's gonna be this one right here. The left bracket can work for us. And we would simply extend it like so. 
Now we actually wanted the right bracket, but we can just rotate it with the shift key and it's gonna go all the way till it's flat, like so. Now we can decrease it with the upper shift up arrow or shift down arrow. And let me bring this closer too. Let's get rid of this border as it's getting a bit annoying there. So right click, format chart area and go for no, no line and also no fill. Nice. Now we can bring this a good bit closer and change the color of it. So under shape format for the shape outline, let's go for something like a dark gray, like this one right here. Now for that 100%, we want to just insert a text box. So we'll go to insert under shapes. We'll select a text box and simply put it right around uh, the middle. Let's say that's over here. I'm just eyeballing it here for now. And we'll put 100%. Now let me stretch that out and maybe make it a bit smaller. And really here we want to remove the line, the border line. Now you can see that it seems as though this line is cut in two, kind of the way we want it over here. And all we've really done there is just added a text box that's white filled. For the other parts of the visual, like adding the white woman and all the different labels and the entry level and so forth, we can just add text boxes which we've done before, so I'm not really going to bore you with that. But just like that, we've recreated three awesome McKinsey visuals in Excel. Let me know down in the comments if you want a part two. And if you wanna learn to make these visuals in PowerPoint, check out this video over here to make awesome slides or take our PowerPoint course over here. Hit that like and that subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.